I've been working on a warehouse project for H&M to process the orders for the UK e-commerce market from the site in Stoke-on-Trent. The IT team were based in France, the customer are based in Sweden, as are their IT team, and we have a sister site in Italy. So keeping communication flowing between all parties at all times was quite a challenge. I think the reason the project was successful is because I'm really passionate about communication and making sure that we've got really creative communication tools and techniques that everybody knows what's going on and feels engaged with the project. Another reason I think the project was so successful is because I really encourage people to be honest with where they're up to with the project progress. So even if they're behind, I want to know about it and I want to make sure that we can manage our way through it. If you know about something, you can all tackle it together. Being a finalist is amazing. It's fantastic recognition so early on in my career. It shows the recognition that the APM and my company are putting into young project managers and hopefully will help me develop my career in the future. The project I've been working on for the last few years uh, has sought to establish search and rescue and support helicopter services in the Falkland Islands uh, following the retirement of the military search and rescue service and the continuation of the civilian support helicopter service. Some of the challenges I faced on this project was uh, constrained timescales. We had a line in the sand that we had to meet when the search and military search and rescue service was, was due to expire and also the location of the Falkland Islands almost 8,000 miles from, from where we are. Uh, in the UK. I was able to apply uh, a broad range of project management knowledge and experience that I've gained throughout my career uh, and pull that all together. One of the factors I think this project has been a success is the commitment that I've shown to the project and seeing it through from early concept phase all the way through to the service being up and running. After all the hard work to, to make the project a success it, it feels great to get the recognition um, from the professional body and at such an early stage in my career it motivates me to you know, go on and do better things in project management. The project I've been working on was to transform the network that allows air traffic control to happen seamlessly in the UK and we had to do that to meet the technology and the customer needs of the future. The project itself was a first of its kind and when I came in I had to bring very strong leadership skills in order to be able to pull together all of the different teams working on the project, including the supplier, and galvanise them around a common goal. I was able to do that through clear communications and very clear responsibilities and accountabilities within the project and making sure they all knew what the goal of the project was. Even just being a finalist is very strong recognition for the job that I did. It's an honour to be a finalist it's, and it's recognition for all the hard work that I've put into the project. But also for my project team as well who worked extremely hard over two years to make this project a success and I hope ultimately that will enable me to take on more projects like that because actually they're really good fun, they're really challenging but they're very very rewarding at the same time. We've been working on a modification upgrade for the Hawk T Mark 1 which you'll most commonly recognise as the Red Arrows. We've been replacing the Attitude Heading Reference System which feeds the pilots cockpit instrumentation to provide him with orientation. We've had both geographical and technological challenges on this project. So geographically, the team was based all over the UK and our lead supplier was based out in Italy. So making sure that all the communications were in place was absolutely key to making sure everybody knew what to do. And technologically, this is a really old aircraft, it's 40 years old, and we were implementing modern technology and integrating it with old systems. My key skill as a project manager is people bringing teams together to deliver uh, the common goal that we all had. Uh, it was quite difficult because everyone was working from quite different environments and different cultures and bringing that all together to deliver the project was key. It means a lot to be recognised by the APM as a finalist in this category. It's really given me some confidence on the first project that I've ever led um, and that I've done a good job and hopefully I've got a long successful career ahead of me.